Hello guys, how are you all doing today? I'm Tayo, I know a filmmaker living in Lagos, Nigeria and I make videos concerning travel, filmmaking and I make general vlogs. Today we're going to be making a video about drones, drones in Nigeria. A lot of people ask this question, what are the laws guiding flying a drone? Do you need to register your drone? Drone, 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 drone. So today I'm making a video to explain to you guys what it takes to fly a drone in Nigeria, what are the rules, what are the laws, are drones banned, are drones allowed? So generally, drone laws in Nigeria, there isn't like a specific a specific place or a specific site apart from the NCAA, that's the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. So the laws and the rules keep changing from time to time. So you have to like do a lot of constant research to know what the current laws are. There's a site called um, Legal Niger Blog. They have like this guideline, I think it's written by a lawyer. They say you need a 500,000 naira non refundable processing fee. 500,000 naira non refundable processing fee. So that means if when you pay your 500,000 naira, even if they don't agree or even if they don't give you your license, your money is going to be gone. How much is a basic drone? If you wanted to buy a DJI Mavic Pro, you will spend about $1,000, which is around 360,000 Naira. The price for getting your certificate is even way more than the price of the drone itself. So this fee is actually very exorbitant. The PAS is valid for three years. So that means after another three years, you need to pay another 500,000 Naira. Upon the receipt of an annual fee of 100,000 Naira must be paid to the NCA. So after paying 500,000 Naira, after three years, you need to pay another 500,000 naira and yearly you're going to be paying 100,000 naira. October 25th, 2018, Nigerian government banned unauthorized use of drones, broadcast equipment. And according to them, this is what they said, the federal government is concerned that social media and other communication platforms are now used to exacerbate tension through rumor, hate speech and incitement. Nigerians are reminded that all laws and regulations against hate speech and so will fully enforced to ensure peace, security and freedom for Nigerians. Drones were banned in Nigeria on October 25th. But I don't know if these laws have been enforced yet, but apparently it's in the news. I think this was done because of the election. The election which is ongoing in Nigeria at the moment, or it's ending today. I'm not sure what they're trying to do, but I think security reasons. General rules for flying a drone in Nigeria. This is from uavcoach.com. Drones weighing more than 250 grams, that's 0.55 pounds, must register with the NCA. So that means the Mavic Pro, which is the drone I use, the Mavic Pro 2, which is apparently what is the weight of a Mavic Pro 2? Let's check that. So a Mavic Pro 2 weighs 905 grams. Drones weigh more than 250 grams. So that means the Mavic Pro 2 weighs 905 grams. The Mavic Pro 2 should actually be registered. All drone operators must be 16 years of age or older. Drones may not be operated in a reckless manner that may harm a person, property, or aircraft. Do not fly across the border from one state to the other. Do not operate over the ICs without proper documentation. Yeah, they're actually really solid rules because drones actually, as much as they look like they are fun, they can actually cause harm to people. And these are generally the drone laws I like to go by. Do not fly your drones over people or large crowds. A lot of events, we do this a lot of, at a lot of events in Nigeria. I've done it before personally, flying drones over large crowds at events. Henceforth, try to stop doing that because it's actually dangerous. Anything can happen. Some of these drones have faults in them. They have technical faults. And when you just start flying them over like people, like a friend of mine who had a drone, the drone just suddenly showed warning and he just crashed into the lagoon. Like, we didn't even know how that happened. But some of these drones, we can't totally rely on the software. Yeah, the software was invented or created by very smart people, but sometimes all these softwares have glitches. So you have to also be very careful. 
Respect other spiders who won't fly your drone. Respect other spiders who won't fly your drone. Don't take your drone out and go and fly to somebody's window or fly into somebody's compound because that's like breach of privacy. You wouldn't want people flying drones into your own compound. Apart from that, also the noise the drone makes. Like that noise can be very annoying. Me, myself, when I am flying the drone, I also get irritated by the noise sometimes. Especially the really loud ones like the Phantom 4 Pros and the rest. Do not fly your drones over airports or in areas where aircrafts are operating. Like, this is like a no-brainer. Flying your drones at airports can lead to like a plane crashing. Just imagine a drone getting into the propeller of like a plane and it having engine failure. Like that will lead to loss of life and death of people. This is a no-brainer. Like anybody even seen flying a drone near an airport should be arrested, personally. And I think that's actually the law because you're going to be endangering lives of people by taking your drone out and flying it. You must fly during daylight hours and only fly in good weather conditions. I think there are sometimes you just need to use your discretion. Obviously, they have a reason for you, for them saying you must fly during daylight hours and only fly in good weather conditions because, yeah, flying during daylight hours is safer because you have line of sight with your drone. At night, you can't see your drone and there's a higher probability of you crashing. But if you're flying in a remote area where there are like no cars and traffic and all that, like people below you, like a remote area in like the jungle or in the forest, like you can fly your drone at night. If you're trying to get some like night shot or maybe like the stars or something like that who knows flying a drone at night gives you beautiful footage different from what you get in the daytime so i'm sure you've seen a lot of that on the internet then another one is do not fly your drones in sensitive areas including government or military facilities use of drones or cameras in those areas are prohibited yes you don't want to be flying a drone near a military base they will shoot it down like those are very sensitive areas They are trying to keep their security, they don't want any spies to come in and all that. So if your drone gets shut down when you're flying near a military area, that's on your head. So there are just general basic drone laws I think you should follow. And once you follow them, I don't think you will have any problem. So there's also this site Tech Point of Africa. It's a site where they talk about a lot of tech stuff. It is expected that your business is incorporated with the Corporate Affairs Commission with minimum capital share of 20 million naira like 20 million naira that's like a whole lot 20 million naira just for you to fly a drone so now they even said it here we don't even know which is more difficult for a camera to pass through the app and or for a, <laughs> or for a rich man to enter the kingdom of god or to get a pas from the nca so apparently like most of all these laws like it stifles innovation like drones are used for a whole lot imagine in like america or somewhere else, foreign countries. Imagine it was so hard to get a drone license. It was so expensive. Like, most of the beautiful images we see online, most of the research, like drones are used for a lot of things. Used for farming, apart from photography and making videos, and making cool drone videos. People are started using drones for delivery now, like there's Amazon drone delivery. That like people are using, like, there are so many innovations coming out that drones are gonna be involved in. I don't feel our government should like be stifling innovation by putting so much on a drone, like putting so much money. You have to have so much money before you can actually fly a drone. It really doesn't make any sense. Getting a license is really, really difficult because the amount of money you have to spend before you can get a license actually stifles the creativity because if you have to think of all the things you have to do before you can get this license, just get a drone up in the air, just get some couple shots. I get there are laws that should be followed in terms of keeping the safety of the people, making sure there are no security risks involved, but the drone laws should actually be relaxed to a point so that innovations and like, imagine somebody wanted to start up a company now that like makes drones, just like somebody started DJI. You will have to deal with so much, if you have to deal with so much just owning a drone, imagine what you have to deal with owning a company that makes drones for people in Nigeria. To be so hard another thing to also mention is when you're traveling with your drone like there are a lot of people who may want to travel with their drone into nigeria i personally always carry my drone in my carry-on bag i never check it in i always carry it in my carry-on bag because apparently it even says here yeah, that airlines only cover losses for up to 1000 usd 
and I don't even think I want to start having issues with Nigerian Aviation Authority in collecting money. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. If your drone is worth more than $1,000, just carry it with you. But put the drone batteries inside a different bag and make sure that they are, I think, 50% charged, just like the way they came with you when you first bought it. Failure to pack your drone's battery separately might result in the airline authority seizing them, which is according to law. You're not supposed to be carrying batteries into the airline. If you want to get your drone registered, the way to go forward is to come to nrps.org. I think I sent my application some weeks ago. Welcome to Nigeria Remotely Pilot Aircraft System Services. So just click here, register your drone. You need to register your drone if it weighs between 250 grams and upwards. That's why I keep saying the laws keep changing. Like there's no specific place that gives you like the updated laws. Everything is just scattered online and you just have to search yourself. So this is more like my public service announcement to the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. I don't know if anybody will see this video, but it's like public service announcement. So I'm linking the links to all these pages below so that you guys can have an idea and you can also go through it yourself and also see what it takes to actually own a drone in Nigeria and see if it's something you are interested in going in. Also, what problems have you had? signing up what problems have you had getting a drone permit in nigeria so as always not to make this video too long if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next one